When I was a little girl, I've always struggled with anxiety. It's always been a part of my life. Every night, me getting in bed and going to sleep was always something that I dreaded because my fear and just the suppressing anxiety would just keep me awake and, and just had me in this intense fear all the time. So uh, during high school, I mean, being a teenager itself is not an easy thing because you're yep. trying to figure out how to be an adult, how to form an identity and all of those things. And I had this just hovering anxiety and chose to isolate myself and be in my own little just world of anxiety and bitterness. And uh, it just, it wasn't healthy. In college, I know there's one particular bus ride mm -hmm. that almost became dehabilitating physically. Just describe that briefly. What was that like? First Christmas break in college, so I was a freshman, I was asked to go on a trip with our youth group. And as we were on our way to this conference, we all loaded up these buses and we were pulling out of the church parking lot and about 30 or 45 minutes in, I just started to feel so hot and sweaty and claustrophobic and I ended up getting sick. So originally I thought, I think I might just have like a bug or something, it was just unfortunate, I'm on this bus. But rather than being able to say, oh, I just got sick, I better take care of this problem, it was, I felt like I was out of control. And that was a new level of anxiety for me. It was actually during my senior year of college, I had finally caved and I started medication, which for me was a big deal because I had been fighting and denying that what was happening to me was anxiety. When I started that medicine, I also started counseling. And when I was seeing my counselor, she looked me in the eye. The first thing she told me was, you are not crazy. And I'll never forget that because that's how it feels when you're not able to control your you feel like you're not able to control your mind yeah. and how it talks to your body, you feel crazy. And um, counselors uh, helped me so much. Rachel, when you talk about those early steps of your healing process, it was the medication, it was the counseling. Worship, which is God's calling, actually was also a trigger. Mm -hmm. Talk to us a little bit about those first times here at Cyprus even. So coming to Cyprus and starting to do all of these things and saying yes to God and saying yes to, I will do this, I will follow your call, I would get sick. And every time I got up here and I did it, I was telling my brain, I'm gonna do this regardless of how my body responds. And that helped me buy back the power. For those who are struggling with anxiety, I would say it's not always gonna be this way. There, there might be seasons where you struggle with it, but there is real truth, there is real freedom from anxiety and from stress. And uh, it's because of God's good faithfulness and uh, my relationship with Him. It's because of medicine and it's because of counselors that I'm able to physically do my job and be in this ministry role. What I'm hearing you say is you are not your struggle. Right. You are God's masterpiece. And when we're in the midst of it, sometimes it's hard to see what life could be like on the other side, mm -hmm. but it's so, so worth it.